So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your iPhone calls aren't actually going through and making any sounds. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. Again, there's never just one reason why this stuff ends up happening. The very first thing I recommend doing though for the most part is just going through and making sure that your particular sound volume is all the way up on your particular device. So you can grab your volume buttons on the side right here and all I'd recommend doing is just increasing or decreasing the sound depending on the severity of that you know, call and how loud you want it to be. So go through, you know, just increase or decrease the sound depending on how you want to do it. And that by far is probably the first thing I'd recommend doing and one of the easier ways to fix this problem. Now another thing you may want to try doing is to just make sure that your particular device itself doesn't have any Bluetooth devices connected to it. Sometimes if you go through and actually have some sort of like Bluetooth device connected to your device, Sometimes it may look like that your device is actually like, you know, playing the sound or songs from here, but actually is playing it from somewhere else. So what you may want to try doing is just go through and just try making sure that your particular sound isn't randomly coming out from a different Bluetooth device around you, because sometimes that can happen as well. So just double check that. You want to make sure that's not happening, you know, either. If that doesn't seem to be the case, you may want to try restarting your particular device. So what you may want to do is hold down the buttons on your device that you normally would, and you want to go and see if for some reason your device, you know, is restarting. For a lot of people, like I mentioned before, if your device restarts and everything like that, and there isn't an issue with that, well, that might be another way that you can possibly fix this problem as well. Now, once again, if you do that and that's not working, another thing you can do is to try updating your particular iPhone. If there isn't a hardware issue, you know, present with your particular iPhone, you can make a way over into your iPhone settings, click on general, click software update at the top, and all you're going to want to do here is basically update your particular device. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. So those are basically the main ways to go and fix this problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.